So when you take a look at the kids, you do, they'll tell you they come from poor homes. And therefore, maybe this lady in this will decide that, okay, I have this land, let me put up the building and then make sure that I get these kids into school. So you see, so maybe they might be paying fees, but not feel like a real private school something just to be running the school so it might be depending on more support from people all over to help maintain the school and also help the kids to be in school and some of this this is the only opportunity for them to have education and from here onwards and if maybe they are that they will not go again so they'll end up be artisanal fishermen of uh, fishmongers and all that. And some also end up as teenage mothers. And in order to prevent this teenage pregnancy or teenage mothers, they are helping to keep them in school. So we have some vocational schools that you may have. So when you are from here, then you go into the vocational training to have trade and all that. So even though I don't know much about their parents here, but this is what I see reading from their um, appearance. And then when you also enter the class, you also see that the furniture in the class are very good. In a standard of comparing to a deprived school, these furniture are very, very good, like a private school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that is so you are welcome to Ayeswedo. Ayeswedo is also part of the Edna traditional area. Yeah. Yeah. Not traditional area. So the paramountcy is Almina. But the rest are all part of the traditional area. Yeah. So what you're saying is they're welcome. Okay, please bless one more.